It's been a weakness of mine since I was about five. Samantha Eisner, red redhead, kindergarten, she was hot. I remember going home, going home from the first day of kindergarten, and mom's like, how was it? Oh, I'm not in love. I met, I met a woman. She can draw. But I also love, uh, I love dogs. I, I love my dog in particular. If you guys are plain dealer readers, there was an article about my dog just recently. He's a Hurricane Katrina rescue. And uh, it's 10 year anniversary of the storm, so the PD did a nice piece on, on my boy and a couple of the other rescue dogs that came out of there. And he's awesome. He's my roommate, my buddy. So any new song I write runs by him first. He's pretty good about letting me know. The day I looked over at Hurricane, he was lying on his couch, and he looked up at me with one eye and said, what's the meaning of it all? And I said, look, little buddy, I have no idea. And isn't that a pretty heavy question for a dog? Sometimes we make things so hard on ourselves, yes, we're trying to be something we're not. We draw lines all the time and we define ourselves and we forget to enjoy what we've got. It's a very short time that we wander here, yes, it's truly the blink of an eye. With so many days wasted worrying, crying and wondering why. Crying and wondering why. We should feel the wind on our backs and relax. We should roll with the punches and go. Admire the force of a waterfall and learn all we desire to know. We should cherish the size of this universe. We should relish the scent on the air. If you look at the world through the microscope, babe, do you think you'll find happiness there? Do you think you'll find happiness there? Right about that time, the dog looks up at me with his other eye open and he says, Son, I don't believe that you have a single idea what you're talking about. And I say, Look, little dog, nobody on this planet knows what we're talking about. We just make this stuff up to keep ourselves busy. Well, sometimes we make things so hard on ourselves, yeah, we're struggling to be what we'll be. Most of the time, we're just fooling ourselves into thinking we know what we need. It's a very short time that we wander here, yes, it's truly the blink of an eye. With so many days wasted worrying, crying and wondering why. Crying and 